Hey everyone, so we're moving on to the last question of this paper. Again, it's some data interpretation and there'll be a couple of calculations and questions with regard to your understanding of this, okay? So it says below shows the labor force characteristics of South Africa for the fourth quarter of 2017. So that just means the last three months of 2017. Remember, a year can be split into quarters, right? If you say 12 divided by four, each quarter, three months, okay? Labor force characteristics in South Africa in 2017, we have the different provinces, we have the total labor force, then we have those who are in NEA, which is not economically active, and then those that are economically active. So you're either one or the other, right? Okay, all the different provinces. We see that there's a little guy here that isn't calculated. We're probably gonna have to calculate him, not a problem. Let's get into the first question. It says, Explain the meaning of the term unemployed within the context of the table. So unemployed here, right? It's not the not economically active. It means the person is willing and able to work, right? But they cannot find a job. That's what it means because they're economically active. So they're able and they're of the age that they can work, but they cannot find a job. Okay. So this is quite an important one. And this is an important one just for understanding like statistics in general, right? So we say unemployed. Right, I'm just going to try to write this as quickly as possible. So unemployed is able and willing to work, but cannot find a job. Okay, it's not a nice place to be. Okay. 5.2.2. It says determine the value of X, the number of people employed in Mpumalanga. Okay, so now what's important to note here, right, is that this guy plus this guy, right, so if you add those two together, equal this guy, right? Because remember I said you're either economically active or you're not, but together they have to add up to the total labor force. Importantly, also this labor force is in thousands, okay? So we know that for Mpumalanga, right, this guy plus this guy have to equal that guy. Okay, but we know, right, that also, let me just get a different color, right? We also know that this one plus this one have to equal the total economically employed because the economically active, right, they can either be employed or unemployed, but they fall under economically active. So those two equal that, those two equal that. It's important to understand what data you've been given. So if we know that these, these two here, x plus 506 equals 1748, we can calculate x. Okay. So we say 1748 equals x plus 506. But remember, we want x by itself. So you can say x equals 1748 minus 506. Put that in your calculator. And we know that x equals 1, 2, 4, 2. Okay. It's important here that x is less than the 1748. Because remember, we have to add 506 to x to get to 1748. Okay. So that's just testing your understanding of the data. Okay. Which, which sometimes seems a bit tricky. But actually, once you do it, and once you understand what's being displayed, it's actually not too difficult to access the information. Okay. It says, name one data, one data collection instrument that could be used to collect the data above. So there's plenty of different things, right? There's questionnaires, there's surveys. I'm just going to say survey, right? But you can say a number of other things, but that to me is the most obvious one. Okay. Then it says, calculate the percentage of people in the Western Cape who are not economically active. So let's find the Western Cape. There's the Western Cape, yeah? This is, this is the number of not economically active, and this is the number of total labor force. So we're going to say 1412, right? Because those are the people who are not economically active, because there's, there's the economically active, they're not economically active, and that's the total, okay? Remember what I told you about the relationship that we established up here, okay? So I'm going to say 1412, divided by the total number of the label force times by 100. Why am I timesing by 100? Well, it's asked us to find the percentage. And timesing by 100 helps us find that percentage. OK, 
Okay. So we say 1412 over 4507 times 100. Okay. And that percent, I'm just going to do it to two decimal places. They haven't specified, but it's always best to just do it to two decimal places when it comes to percentages. Okay. So remember, it's nine there in the third decimal place. I'm just rounding up. Okay. Perfect. Let's now move on to 5.2.5. So it says, write down the ratio of employed people to unemployed people in South Africa in the form of something to one. So instead of, because generally in a ratio, we say one to something. But here they are saying something to one. So it's important to make sure that you don't misunderstand what's being asked. So what I like to do is I like to write it in words because it helps me understand. So it's saying employed to unemployed. Okay. So it just helps me set the scene in my own mind to, as to what they're asking me. So not employed, right? Or it said, what did it say here? Employed people to unemployed in South Africa. So it's actually these guys over here because there's unemployed and there's employed. Okay, I was almost going to pull the wrong data. That's why it's always important to read the question because it gives you an indication. Okay, so unemployed is 5882. Remember, this is in thousands. Both of them are in thousands, so you can just put it over here. Just to remind you, you don't always have to write it out. It's okay. Um, and the employed is 16172. So we want this side to be 1. That's what they've said in the question. They said, write it in the form where it's 1. Well, that's not a problem. All we have to do is we have to figure out what do we have to do to this side to get to 1. Well, we just divide it by 5882. But with the ratio, what you do to the one side, you have to do to the other side, right? So we're going to do that to the other side. So we're going to say, what's that number? 16172, okay, divided by 5882. And the ratio, I'm going to just round it off to two decimal places. Let's just see if it if it said any decimal places. Um, it didn't say. You can do it as two. You can do it as more if you want. It didn't specify. I always um, tend to favor two. Okay. And that's the ratio. So remember, it said for South Africa. And that's why I used the last row there and looked for the employed and unemployed and read it off. Then it said it wanted the ratio in this form. Important to look and understand what they're asking for. Okay, so now we've done that question. That wasn't too bad. Let's move on to 5.2.6. Okay, now it says, determine the probability as a decimal. That's important, right? Doesn't want it as a fraction, wants it as a decimal. Of randomly, se of randomly selecting a person in the free state who was not economically active. Okay, well, it's not too bad. Let's just go to the free state. Okay, here's the free state. And we know that this is the total number of people. Okay, and this is the total number of not economically active. Let's just remind ourselves of what probability means. Probability means I, how I work it out is a fraction, right? And I always say what I want, right, over possibilities. Okay, so in this case, right, it's going to be the not economically active in the free state over the labor force, right, in the free state. Okay, because I want the not economically active and I want it over the labor force, right? Because so I'm just randomly selecting a person, okay? So it's going to be 697 over 1893. See, free state? Six nine seven, one eight nine three. But we're not done, right? What did they ask us to do? They said, please put it in a decimal. So let's do what is asked, right? That's always a good idea when it comes to a test. Okay, and I'm getting zero point three six 
eight, one. So I'm just going to round that off to zero. Oh, let me just do a little zero point three seven. Okay, they said a decimal, and they said determine the probability of randomly selecting a person in the free state who is not economically active. Okay, so it's important to make sure, right, that you understand the question that's being asked. Okay, because if you go look at the um, memo, which I would advise you go do, there's a couple of different interpretations. Okay, so the one that I had here is not the only one that you could have had, but to me, it's the most obvious one. Okay, let's now go to 5.2.7, which is a bit of graphing, okay? It says the graph on the answer sheet represents the number of economically active people as well as those who are not economically active um, in South Africa. The bars for all economically active persons and only the bars for the person in the Eastern Cape who are not economically active are drawn. Okay, so there's a bit of a problem with this question. In, in the memo, right? Because actually what's shown is it's the total number of the label force. So that's actually what, what this one is. Let me just, these guys, I'm just doing them in orange, right? Are actually the total labor force. So it's not actually the economically active. And what happened was because there was this mistake, they actually discounted this question, right? So it's important if you do see this in an exam, and sometimes they do make mistakes, right? You will get the marks, okay? So just do what you think is best. Don't panic, right? Because panic is not an asset when it comes to um, tests, okay? So then what it's done is it's done that, and then in the smaller one over here, it's done the not economically active. So let's go and plot the not economically active for each of these different um, provinces. So the Eastern Cape is done for us. Let's now do the free state. So the free state is 697. Okay, you're never going to get this completely accurate, right? But you can just kind of, um, it's probably somewhere over there, right? You just want to make it as accurate as possible. So we've done the free state. Gauteng is 3016. So it's probably somewhere over there. It doesn't have to be completely accurate, right? But I just want you to understand what I'm doing. I'm not going to do all of them because I don't think that's helpful. I just want to show you how exactly how to do it. So let's do the Western Cape, which is the last one. 1412. Okay. And you basically say, okay, 1412 is probably somewhere over there. Okay, so you can go and do that for each of them. Importantly here, always remember to put in your um, examination number and make sure you maybe use some color. It just is a little bit easier to mark. Okay, let's go do the last question now of this question and then we are done with this paper. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is let's read it and let's finish up. So it says determine the probability as a simplified fraction. It's important of selecting a province where fewer than 350 people are employed. Okay, so let's go to employed, okay? Right, let's go here and let's see which one of these is smaller than 350,000. Um, so now it's important to remember that these are all in thousands, right? Remember, so don't be looking at this number and comparing it to these numbers. What you should be doing is you should be just looking at the 350 here, right? Because it's basically 350,000. That's how you can write it, okay? So just be comparing these numbers to 350. So it says fewer than 350. So it's not that one, not that one. Nope, nope, nope. Um, can't remember what X is. We'll have to go check. What was X? X was not smaller, right? So uh, let me just check. Oh, you see, I didn't even read the question correctly. It says unemployed. So I've actually looked at the wrong um, column. Haven't I? What I'm highlighting here, we need to be accurate in what we're doing. So let's actually compare the right column now. It says 350 in this column. So no, 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 yes, no, yes, yes, no. So I have one, two, three. How many provinces? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's, I have a three and nine chance. Okay, let me just write that down for you. Okay, remember probability, 5.2.8. Probability is what we want over possibilities. 
right? And what we want is provinces with less than 350 unemployed, right? Over the total number of provinces, okay? Now, we just worked out from the little shindig I did over here. Three of them are under 350. There's nine provinces in total. Let's put that into our calculator. So it said a simplified fraction. We don't know if that's simplified. I know it's not. You might not know that. But put it into your calculator and it can help you out. One over three. Okay. That's the answer there. It's quite a nice probability question. Importantly here, make sure you read the question. Okay. I hope that was helpful. That is the paper done. We'll move on to paper too soon. Cheers, guys.